Okay, let's talk about the hammerhead shark and the kayak dude. Bro, kayaks are for gentle lakes and peaceful sunsets, not for dodging hammerheads. When they mentioned fend off a curious hammerhead, I was like, say what? That's some next level man versus wild type of situation. Bro, if I saw a hammerhead coming my way, I'd probably just hand over the kayak and be like, it's all yours, fam. But seriously, the sheer audacity of using a paddle against a shark? My man's got bigger fish to fry, I guess. Pun absolutely intended. You guys, please don't fight. It's like trying to ward off a bear with a toothpick. Though, that swift whack bit? Legendary. Bet that shark was like, yo, who the heck invited Thor to the ocean today? Man, I ain't playing with sharks after this. I think I'll stay landlocked, thank you very much. I right, fam, buckle up. These next tales are gonna be wild. Number 19, yo, 18 foot shark versus a cage? That's like Godzilla versus King Kong, but underwater and way scarier. An 18 foot great white. That's like the stretched limo of sharks, man. And it all went down in New Zealand. Bro, that place isn't just about hobbits and lush green landscapes anymore. It's got some serious action. That diver was probably like, Hey shark, I was just here to see the corals, not to be a snack. Real talk, when the shark named Slash approached the cage, I can just picture the diver inside trying to remember every shark documentary he ever watched. I'm surprised he didn't start humming the Jaws theme. But let's take a moment and think about the peeps on the boat. Imagine seeing your bud get encircled by a hungry, wounded shark, and all you can do is scream, get him out of there. Man, talk about some intense stuff. That shark's reputation was probably like the local boogeyman, popping up in all the sailor stories. Gather around, young divers, and hear the tale of Slash. But now, the plot twist? Tour companies attracting sharks? Man, that's some shady business. Imagine finding out your thrill was actually part of some twisted local attraction. Come to New Zealand, where we have more than just kiwis, we've got live Jaws action. Number 18. Can we just get a slow clap for fearless Craig K? My guy was out there capturing content for the gram while the rest of us were chilling on our couches. I mean, just the name Fearless Craig K sounds like he's about to drop the hottest survival guide of 2023. But damn, a great white breaking into a cage? That's not just a party crasher, that's the whole damn parade. I can picture it, the suspense as the shark wheezes between the cages, a hush amongst the onlookers, heartbeats echoing in the silence, and bam, big old sharky pops in to say hello. Y'all got any more of them divers? Make sure to subscribe and like this video, or this great white shark will wait for you at the bottom of your bathtub every time you take a bubbly bath. Bruh, what kind of sign off is that? Way to make sure I'm never taking a bath again. I'll stick to showers, thank you. But real talk, what kind of shower curtain should I get to keep sharks out? Asking for a friend. All right, here we go again. Number 17. Hold up, we're talking about Danny Hendrix now? That dude sounds like an action hero straight out of some shark themed blockbuster. Dude's on vacation in Queensland. Already sounds like paradise, by the way. And he's like, hey, let's make this vacay 1,000% more intense. Going spearfishing alone? Mad respect, man. But also, maybe a tiny bit reckless? Bro, I can almost see it. Danny, swimming in the deep blue, spear gun in hand, ready to grab his next seafood dinner. But now nah, the universe was like, let's spice things up. Enter bull shark stage right. I mean... Danny probably saw the shark and thought, okay, maybe he's just passing through, minding his business. But nah fam, this bull shark had some beef, or should I say fish. One minute, it's all calm. Next thing, it's like Fast and the Furious Underwater Edition. Oh, lifestyles, Fast and Furious. Danny, in a Hollywood-like movie, uses the spear gun, and that shark? Dude, he basically took himself out. Life really be coming at you fast, huh? Number 16. Okay, North Carolina, what you got? Oh, just a casual shark frenzy? Cool, cool, cool. Not terrifying at all. Imagine, you're chilling, enjoying the waves, and suddenly it's like the Discovery Channel gone wild. Sharks chasing bluefish ending up on the beach? Wild. But wait, there's more. 
birds swooping in. It's like nature's version of a buffet gone wrong. Now, I'm no marine biologist, but I've seen enough movies to know that where there's a ton of food, there's gonna be a ton of action. And by action, I mean sharks. But here's the kicker, fam. The YouTube description's like, nah, bro, it's safe, trust us. Just a bit of nature doing its thing. Uh-huh, I got two words for you. Nope and nope. Like, I'm all for healthy ecosystems and whatnot, but if that means dodging sharks on my way to catch some waves, maybe I'll just stick to the kiddie pool. Honestly, I'm here laughing, but mad props to the brave souls who capture these wild moments. But for real, someone needs to tell those sharks to chill. Maybe put up a sign or something? No frenzying? Penalty. Timeout on the beach. Sounds fair to me. Number 15. Ocean Ramsey? More like Ocean Ramsey, the queen of sharks. I gotta say, when you're diving and your name is Ocean, it feels like destiny. But here's the thing. Diving straight into a shark's open mouth? That's a whole different ball game. Good thing she knows her sharks and pulled a reverse Uno card on Queen Nikki. I mean, sure, the shark was probably just saying, hey, what's that floating thing? But a shark's version of a curious nibble is not something any human wants to be on the receiving end of. What's truly impressive is Ramsey's understanding and love for these creatures. Even after a close call, she's like, nah, Nikki's cool, just a big curious fish. Respect. Number 14. Here we go again, folks. Another tale of high-octane shark-infested drama. Durban, South Africa is known for its gorgeous beaches and surfing spots, but also for its fair share of, let's call them toothy locals. Now, imagine enjoying your day, vibing on your surf ski, taking in the wonders of the ocean, then BAM! It's Jaws 2.0. That sinking feeling, no pun intended, of knowing something is wrong and then realizing you're the main course in a shark's lunch? Nightmare fuel. But our surf skier here isn't one to panic. She's got grit, she's got determination, and she's got a paddle. The real MVP, that rudder, took a hit for the team and probably saved her life. Sometimes life really is about how well you can paddle through the chaos. This lady deserves a standing ovation. Or better yet, maybe a safer hobby, like knitting. Just a suggestion. Number 13, fishing in New Zealand? Sign me up. Except, of course, if a cameo from a Leviathan Mako shark is included in the itinerary. Now, it's one thing to try and reel in a big kingfish, but an entirely different ball game when a massive shark decides to join the party. Here's a lesson for all aspiring anglers. Always listen to your boat captain. When he says, if it jumps in the boat, get out of the way, he's probably speaking from experience. Can you imagine the sheer adrenaline rush? One minute you're chilling with your fishing rod. The next, there's a behemoth shark showing off its dental work on your boat. Hats off to that Mako though. Talk about making an entrance. Good thing it found its way back to the deep blue, saving everyone from a close-up inspection of those chompers. Number 12. The ocean, in all its splendor and beauty, has its moments where it likes to remind us that it's wild, untamed, and occasionally terrifying. Our brave diver off the South American coast learned this lesson the hard way. When a 15-foot tiger shark decides to circle you, it's safe to say you've captured its interest. Unfortunately for the diver, interest turned into pursuit, and our oceanic explorer had to make a hasty retreat. The chase scene probably felt like a slow-motion thriller with the sleek predator gaining ground. Good news is, our diver got away. But let this be a lesson to all. Tiger sharks, while majestic, are not to be trifled with. When they're nicknamed garbage cans of the sea, garbage in garbage can. <laughs> it's for a reason. They're notorious for eating pretty much anything. Car tires, license plates, and even armor suits have been found in their stomachs. So it's best to admire them from a distance. But hey, close encounters like these do make for some epic stories as long as everyone, and every shark, walks away unharmed. 
Number 11. It's not every day you get to share a swimming pool with a giant hammerhead, especially when you're clueless about it. But hey, the heart of Miami never fails to surprise. Drone footage with its aerial view has this uncanny ability to make us aware of what's lurking beneath. And in this case, Jason McIntosh's drone gave him a front row seat to this nerve wracking encounter. Can you imagine just floating in the water and being unaware that such a magnificent predator is checking you out? The relief that McIntosh must have felt when the shark swam away with his inability to warn the swimmer is hard to put into words. For any beachgoer, this video serves as a reminder that we share these waters with creatures of the deep.